little bit awkward in Cleveland at the Quicken Loans Arena on Tuesday, April 26th. Two things are booked, and they're both pretty huge events. There's a Justin Bieber concert, and possibly the Cleveland Cavaliers will have a home game on that day. So somebody has to get bumped. I don't know how they do that because Justin Bieber been promoting that concert for months now. Yeah, Tickets but I was well, it'll out. be a game five and a best of seven, so the game might not even happen. Who they might playing? Get to five who, games. Playing? Uh, who are the Cavs playing? Pistons. Pistons. Pistons yeah, it might get to that five. Could be a sweep. Cavs could sweep them. But it's a little risque because there could be a game. I mean, if it is, you kind of have to bump Justin Bieber you out have because to. that's you know their state. Like but they, they sold out. The they Cavs sold are the, the money maker for the city always. That's, that's city. consistent money for years. You bump Justin Bieber, no questions asked. I'm sure you can't break the Justin Bieber contract though. He actually signed a contract. This was this months ago. Like it sold out. They might have to make the concert early and make the game later. There's or plenty something. of land in Cleveland. You have a nice outdoor event. Put Justin Bieber out there. Let him sing, dance, keep it moving. All right, now, there were some worries that the movie Barbershop, the next cut, wasn't going to come out today. But those worries uh, are in vain. What they're saying is that the ruling is the playwright, J.D. Lawrence, didn't have enough to back up his claim that the movie's release would damage him beyond repair. He was suing for $20 million in damages because he said Barbershop, the movies, the TV series, and all of that had some similarities to his stage play, Scissors. So they threw that out. Not true. Whatever. Kevin Hart, by the way has said he is done with touring. All right. Now, after performing 156 shows, journeying across 112 cities, 13 countries, five continents, he says he may put his suitcase in storage. He said, I don't know if I'm ever going to go out and do it again. And he said, it's my last effing tour. Yeah, right. We don't believe Kev that. going to take a little rest and Kev will be right back out there in a year and a half. Absolutely. Because it's something that he does because he loves it. Yeah, he loves that. He enjoys that stand up. All right, now there have been some issues online with Monica and her husband, Shannon Brown. We all look at their marriage and say, oh, they're so cute together, great marriage, just mm -hmm. had a baby. Well, there's women who are out there and putting out text messages, alleged DMs between uh, her and Shannon Brown. Now, Monica did somewhat respond on a post on Instagram. She said, center of my joy in life, tests are sure to come. And because of my faith and belief that God is in control, I don't run to talk about my problems because I'm too busy thanking him for the good he's done in my life. I'm not fake. I just refuse to give the devil glory that only God should have. My baby's got me smiling. That's true. Terrible, terrible time we live in, man. I'm telling you, people could just put information out there and mm -hmm. people run with it and nobody cares about the truth if the lie is more entertaining. And these women are definitely reaching out to these blog sites. Of and course, and the blog ended up. Star stories. And some of them are, some are refusing to post what they say could be potentially a false story. Mm -hmm. And they're only doing it for attention and likes and retweets. One it's girl, not even 15 minutes of fame no more. It's more like five seconds. One girl reached out and actually had to delete her account afterward. But they started killing her account? I guess so. Mm. Well, that is your rumor report. I'm Angela Yee. All right. Thank you, Miss Yee. Charlamagne. And by the way, you know Shannon Brown is married, ladies. Like, if you he approaches you, you can Google or see that he's married. So that's kind of on you, too. I just don't understand what happened to, you know, girls having married ball players hollering at them and they just keeping their mouth shut so they can get a check. You tell them how to do this, girl? Well, I don't get that. Like, why would you put them on blast? You gotta start telling these girls. You just gotta relax sometime, man. You, you, tell them you what trap the guy. You don't take his picture. How they trap him? Screenshot it and mm. post it all on social media. What should they do? Be old school with it. Have sex with him, poke a hole in his condom, get pregnant, boom, you good. Well, that life. seems like a... But that seems like the... the putting that information out, the out there, too. Yeah, you have, have a baby. baby. That's different. It's his fault. Yo, you <laughs> are a bird, too. man. That's his fault. It's his fault. Brrr, all right. Fault. Donkey today? They're not, even, they're not even trying is what I'm saying. As soon as the person makes contact, it's, oh, here, ball alert. Here, Shader Room. Look who DM'd me. Like, come on. Get a little something out of it first. You got to show, show these. You got to show these.